Migration is big. It's it's a big, uh, it's a big not time. knowing. You know, not knowing is the whole aspect. <laughs> You're going. No, no. Yeah. And I think this this community really fills that void. That hey, you know, you're, you're not, you know, you're not, you're not alone. You're all in the same boat, and so that helps a lot. <laughs> My name is Reynold Vaz and my name is Alicia Vaz yeah. and we have a three-year-old daughter. We've just recently moved to Canada. And we have a baby coming. Yes, a baby coming. no name as yet but yeah it's on the way and that's what today being here with the baby shower that's what it's all about. Yeah. We're having a baby girl. It's a girl, yeah. yeah. Nice. Yeah. My grandfather's from Goa, my ancestry is from Goa, from South Goa. My wife was a teacher in Goa, at, uh, at Old Goa. And I taught over there for three or four months before we could switch to Vancouver. It's, it's a beautiful place to be at, it's a beach town. So living over there, beachfront and... Oh, it's beautiful, it's, it's beautiful. beautiful. Yeah, you've got weather, good weather all year round. It's, it's, uh, it's like being in the West Indies, you know, it's, it's pretty much... Yeah, you've got the sun, the beach and uh, all the good food. Coconut for sure, uh, flour, rice, the famous fish curry, fish, prawn, shrimp, all seafood, clove, cinnamon, chili, red chili, cilantro, coriander powder, jeera, which is cumin, red chili powder. A cookbook was put together by uh, Villa and Heather and they did an awesome job by getting everyone to contribute a recipe. It's really helped a lot of our youth. My dish was a pickle dish, prawn balcha. That's a pickle with prawns, with shrimps. So you have to fry it and um, grind a whole bunch of red chilies with vinegar and preserve it. You just can't have it when you make it. You have to keep it at least for a month. Uh, pan rolls was one of my dishes. It's just a pancake basically with made with eggs and flour, milk and water and, uh, and cilantro delicious. and it's delicious. It's very much like potato chops actually. We got our permanent residency and so we migrated to Canada. Moving here, the first thing we were looking for is a community. You know, they say it takes a village to raise a child. We were so glad that there's a Goan association and it's been here for 40 years, I wouldn't have known. It all started actually uh, uh, due to the uh, generosity of the young lady sitting next to me here, Mrs. Dukuna, you know, desire to make the people feel at home who had just arrived from Uganda. Many of them came with absolutely nothing, so she had a party for them, and I think it was during that party that somebody mentioned, you know, we should have an association here of of the community and that's that was the seed that was planted from that seed grew this thing we got together we sat down and we drew up a constitution i was i was instrumental i would say to a large extent in one of the few people who got together to establish a goan association eventually we did start it in 1976 we tried to maintain a a loose kind of format that we met in the summer during the summer for a picnic or in the fall for a dance. Uh, we always try to make an event at Christmas and, and that's how it started to build on and gradually more and more people got involved. You have to have a club. It means having a club means having a bar. Okay? And then sports. I've got 14 grandchildren, five great grandchildren. Gorns are quite famous for their activity in sports, uh, music, 
and cooking. I think those are the three things that are the most famous in. We used to go to all the dances and uh, the children always kept in touch with the GOA. We've always tried to get the youth involved but we never really succeeded. We made many attempts but we never really succeeded. It's only in the last, I think, seven, eight years or maybe, yeah, about seven, eight years uh, that the young people have have got themselves interested in in the association and have started their own group of of activities. Like it's such a legacy to these individuals that started the Cohen Association and what they wanted it to achieve. So I'm assuming they're happy that it's made it to the next generation and now we're hoping to go to a third and I guess fourth generation now. So it's impressive. Throughout the year we'll plan sports, we'll plan um, fundraisers. We did. Uh, we actually did a run for Kibera, which is a slum in uh, Kenya. So we had a fundraiser for it. We raised money, and it's actually a global run. So this is the only one in Canada. One of my sons also played field hockey for Canada. Here on a wider scale, we were able to integrate ourselves with with other nationalities here, and. I got involved with the Multicultural Society here in, in Vancouver and that opened up my eyes to seeing that there is more, just, there's more than just the Goan population here. There is, everybody can think of and this planet is here in Canada. So it gave me some reality checks and said yes, we can do better with everybody involved, just not ourselves. GOA has been um, a place where most new immigrants find community and belonging. And through the dedication of a lot of volunteer work and members, the entity now is what it, it was from the humble beginnings we had before. I think first of all, the Goans and by association, people from Bangalore and uh, East Indians, all the people that formed this sort of broader community that today is today's GOA, they're all very social people. They love people. Yeah, what do we call it? Goan by association? Anyone that wants to come in, join us, you know, learn about Goan culture, learn about the people. We're always open to new people. Canada is a very pluralistic, uh, multicultural kind of society. You're seeing that the, the Goan Association is, is really a bit of a misnomer. We're now a collection, just like Canadians are, of so many different cultures and um, nationalities existing under one name. When I look back to when I went to Goa a few years ago, one of the, the key traits that stood out for me was the hospitality of the locals. And I think that's kind of evident here now, where when you come to an event, people are more than happy to welcome you and to you know, take you under their wings to have you understand what goes on here and, and how things are. To me, I think if you don't share it, it's, it's lost. I feel like I wouldn't know about Goan culture if it wasn't for my parents. It's just great to see. I mean, my daughter's married a Scot. Uh, a lot of people are married Italians, Filipinos. Um, and so it, it's, we're becoming that, that broader microcosm. But still with that, that old roots are still in there as well. So it, it gives it a beautiful blend. I think that culture, custom, Tradition is the backbone of a human being. I am a great believer of multiculturalism. This is absolutely necessary for the peace and future of this country. Every culture is unique in their own kind of way. So I think we all, we, we have our own way of doing things and I've noticed a lot of other cultures appreciate ours just as we appreciate theirs. Somebody with a guitar sitting in the corner singing and knowing songs while the rest of us can't sing. <laughs> are at the bar with a drink in our hands, grumbling, and then half of them on the dance floor line dancing to the most random songs that shouldn't have line dances. I think that's pretty much it. If you see a, a song that shouldn't have a line dance and somebody's line dancing, they're going, that's for sure. His mother is an Italian origin. Father is my son, going. And it's nice for him to know his Italian culture and also his Goan culture. Same time. We had a great time being over there and, and having heritage to that place. 
and uh, and so glad that when you migrate, you know, looking for better pastures, you have connection from that place. So having the Goan Association over here is so much of a privilege. Well, we uh, hope to be actively involved yeah. with this community, with this uh, association that we have found. Right. And uh, we're just yeah. so happy and privileged to have known all of them. Right. And uh, forty raising, more years. Raising, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, raising Olivia and the new baby would be really so nice because you have all the support and uh, help from all of them. So we hope to continue yeah, we hope giving to continue and reaching the legacy out. Legacy and giving back to the society and what giving we can back do. to the community. Yeah. Oh!